white guys, so decided to do um, a silver fixed uh, hypercar race at Spa. So um, I thought I'd jump in and uh, jump into my favourite um, car. Sorry, my favourite hypercar in the game, uh, the old uh, Ferrari 499 uh, P. So. Let's see what we can do here. I'll probably try for one banker lap and then a push lap um, just to get a time on the board. And not invalidate, of course. <clears throat> Car feels really good on the, um, on the setup they have. It's a fixed setup, by the way, so whatever Studio 397 give us. I think I'll probably get a 201, 202, I think. Two minutes to go, two minutes. So, decent time I think I can get, but not alien time for sure. The fastest lap for David, 201.9, the leader has just done 201.7. Yeah, they're quick lap times, aren't they? 217, 201.9. That's a track limit for that. Wow. So there goes the banker lap. Time to push. Guy on your left. You're clear on the left. P14. Yeah, that last lap had almost a 202.4, but um, obviously, like, took a different line through the last chicane, so... Reckon I can get into the 201s. Oh, no, not now. Don't invalidate. That ha hasn't been invalidated. Okay. This is the horse slap. What a terrible, terrible lap. Yikes. That's the end of the session. Be 17. I think I had enough in it for the pole, or close to it. Um, quickest final sector done. First sector was a mess at Eau Rouge, and then missed an apex or two in the middle sector, but um, the final sector was pretty good, and that went purple. Yeah, final sector went purple. Interestingly, the final sector, we are four tenths quicker than the pole sitter. 
you lose four tenths in the middle sector, but that was that was true a mistake, and we lost a couple of tenths in sector one, uh, which was obviously that mess at Eau Rouge. But um, yeah, feeling confident for the race actually. Yeah, feeling pretty confident for the race. Okay, it's a 25 minute race. We will need. Looks to be about 49 litres of fuel. Forty nine litres will get us twelve laps, twenty five minute race, two minutes a lap, that sounds about right. And then I will put in extra two minutes of fuel. Three minutes of fuel. We'll get us up to about fifty five litres. Just to be that'll be that'll be a safe margin. Fifty five fifty four point eight, that should be a safe margin. We'll go we'll go on the higher side just to be sure. All right. That's all good. Feel is good. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Right, so... 19 cars on the grid, and... Let's pray for um, an event less Eau Rouge. Sato looks nice, doesn't it? It's good to see a mix of cars on the grid here, like Toyotas, Ferraris, Peugeot, Neo Sata. Um, got the Porsche back there, got an Alpine further back, and a Caddy. Good to see. survive the first lap or so and then see where the chips lie. The front of the field are on uh, mediums. I'm on soft. Yeah, the top six cars, in fact, are on medium tires. Then uh, soft, soft, me and the guy in front. Then we've got medium behind, a couple of softs, a couple of mediums throughout the field. Yeah, we'll see who's uh, made the right call. Spinner. Good to be self-inflicted.
and I love this car. I'm still getting used to it, like, and you know, to be really, really fast. But um, oh, I love how it drives. I could just, you know, the way everyone has their own preferred driving styles. Like this car really suits me, talks to me, like, love it. That Porsche is getting away. Okay, fuel wires were spot on, so we did take enough uh, enough fuel. to spin there just um if you get on the power too too eagerly like <clears throat> this one thing i love about lmu is the the grid the the community the drivers if you like uh, playing the game are all very very good all very very fast drivers all competent all clean. Limits. Oh, in front, Daniker. I've done a race or two with him before. Very quick driver, from what I remember. Very solid as well, you know, like consistent and doesn't really rattle. Crash behind us, so uh, no name. Green flag in sector two. Okay, the tire temperatures are starting to. Um, sector three is yellow. Yeah, this could be a problem. <laughs> I know why the front of the field took mediums. Oh dear. feel this tire is starting to just um, move around a little bit. It's like it's just gone above the threshold that the soft tire is comfortable at. So it's just the car is moving a little bit more on every axle. It's really cool actually how this feels. I've never felt this before in any other sim how it's done but I can definitely feel just a little bit of extra movement and a little bit less um, response on the turning if that makes sense just everything is just a bit softer car still feels really good though of course but I can definitely notice a slight change in the tyre 
uh, characteristic. I need a new fastest lap for year 202 on two. Driving this car is just absolutely brilliant, man. It's really, really great. Okay, Gary, keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. Five. You know, I've done a GTE race at Kota earlier too. Um, it's actually the same grid as uh, Vichy Hire. Um, and yes, he beat me. <laughs> but uh, just the, the GTE, yeah, even on that track, is just brilliant. You know, the, I think LMU is easily the um, the best actual circuit racing uh, simulator out there, like from a physics and feel perspective. Like, just nothing gets close to it, really. Nothing. It's almost like a few weeks ago I was going to try and start like a, a road career in iRacing because um, I do iRacing for ovals but um, yeah as soon as the um, you know fired up LMU again with the the last pack that came out you know the, the update with the BMW and stuff and then that got me back into it a little they made a few adjustments to the ABS assists and everything seems to be right in the world now and um the extra car pack that came with the um, the Sota and the Alpine, I mean, and, and Cota, it's just, LMU is, um, it's got all the makings of being one of the greats. Probably the best if, um, if they continue on the current trajectory, you know, like it's still a brand new game, um, but already it offers so much like the physics, the, the driving experience, the sound, the car modeling, the graphics are really cool. Um, and, and the community currently within LMU um, are all great drivers. They're all fast. They're all really, really good, consistent. Um, and you'd even see it in the forums, like when people mess up in a race, they're apologizing. And, you know, it's, it's really cool. Nice to see. Definitely got the um, tire compound wrong. I think the, the temperatures we're experiencing definitely the mediums would have been better. Still, though, anything can happen. Race is not over yet. Definitely notice the front uh, left is just not biting properly. That's at 101 degrees Celsius at the moment, so a little bit too hot for the soft, I believe. We should be okay for fuel. We've got 8.3 reversal energy, 16, maybe 17 minutes of actual fuel on board. So I think we'll be okay. Interestingly, the car behind, <coughs> um, he's been chased down by a uh, a sort of Fashini, and oh, that out. has uh, mediums on it. So I wonder, is uh, he's starting to struggle there on the soft? So me and the car behind are on both on soft, and all cars in front of me are on medium. Boys up ahead fighting.
Where there's a fight, there's opportunity. Temperature 42 degrees or something? Yeah, 42.4. Track temp, weather temp 33. It's hot. Four seconds to the car in front. You've used half your fuel. So you can I just uh, maintain this. Tire's starting to let go a little bit now, isn't it? It's 104 degrees. All tires over 100 now. Yeah, I think this is where it's going to struggle. be careful as well because um, I'm just worried that if I put this into a corner too quick like with the tires as they are I'm worried that it'll just let go like I say it doesn't feel as uh, steady as it did at the start of the race
is 0.6 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.3 off the pace. Yeah, starting to um, struggle a tiny bit now. The runners just gone into Brussels, so just at the end of Camel. The Assault has got past the Porsche behind. The Porsche started with really good pace, I have to say, and then just gradually dropped off. My average pace has been a 2 or 3.8. Um, okay, Gary, five minutes to go, five minutes left. There's that front tire squealing again. But, um, oh, look, we're all good. The car's good, so. Okay, so my hope now is that someone loses control or they've um, underfueled and don't have enough virtual energy on board, so... It's usually me doing that, by the way, so uh, for once I've a little bit too much fuel, virtual energy, so um, yeah, I'm not complaining. A little bit deep in the front is screwed. Not the best final sector, but it's all good. This has been a fun drive. I have to say, though, like the um, what the guys have done with LMU is just uh, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, what I really like about the tires, the, the latest update, the, um, the tires have. Um, an ideal operating window as well as a, a grip profile obviously and a longevity profile right so why i'm saying that my tires are getting too hot and um, you can see they're like 92 91 degrees and stuff like that um, which is uh, just slightly too hot for soft but probably would be more in line with mediums and then hard then you'd probably want a bit more temperature like for the longevity and the how they form over a stint um, Still worth pointing out though, over like one lap, once they're at their operating temperature, the soft will be faster, right? But over a stint, when um, maybe it overheats outside of its window, um, you do start to feel the tire kind of, like I say, just feel like it feels like it just loses its rigidity a little. And the car just kind of moves around a bit more underneath you, that's all. Um, which it seems to do, to be honest. So. Yeah, the physics on this um, 
Yeah, absolute world class, I think. It will take a bit of getting used to like, if you come from a different simulator, like for sure. But um, stick with you, I promise you it will be um, an eye-opener for you. I mean, yes, the game still has a few bugs here and there, but they're being worked through, and um, they can be annoying. They're not as um, not as often as you'd hear reported. Like, and believe me, I'm one of those that is probably most frustrated with the bugs that I do come across, like a few random game crashes here and there, but nothing too serious. Like, but um, it is improving, and uh, <coughs> yeah, I mean. From a, a physics perspective, um, there's there's not there's nothing better. There's nothing better on the market. Now I've like almost 1,900 hours in ACC. Like that was my big uh, sim up until about seven months ago. Um, but yeah, they're, they're like as the updates rolled out for that game. It seemed to just get progressively worse, like, I think version 1.7 of that game is probably its pinnacle. Maybe 1.8, but uh, the current patch is just nonsense, like, absolute nonsense. It's always a problem in that game where you couldn't ride a curve and stuff like that, but um, in LMU and whatever you can. The only thing you'll have to get used to is the cars don't have um, ABS, but um, honestly, you'll You'll get used to that in a week or so. Like, I mean, you'd be surprised how quickly you'll um, adopt. Yeah, and with this, like, you're able to like hit a curve, and the car won't launch into space, and you know, it's just, it's a lot more natural. It's a lot more, just everything about it is just more dynamic. It's more, like, I mean, this <clears throat> this game is the reason I have not and will not pursue, like, um, a road sports car career um, or license or whatever in um, in iRacing. It's just, um, although iRacing, like, has um, the whole, like, let's say it's more established, right? But um, when it comes to driving physics, I mean, this is just in a different world entirely. And, um, you know, once you've driven this, um, it's hard to uh, go back to oil racing and fire up like a like a GT car or whatever, and you know <laughs> try to reason with yourself that oh, oil racing is good and the feels great and stuff. So it doesn't. It's it doesn't. E5. Okay, we're done. That's a great race. Okay, it's top requested. Yeah, like what LMU has going for it is um, like absolutely brilliant physics. Um, the cars, the the modelling. All the tracks are laser scanned. Now, what will have to happen is like more, more um, content will have to arrive for sure. Let's have a look at the L start. But I think once that content arrives, like I think um, this will be the the go-to simulator for a lot of the ACC boys because, like, like I was, I know a lot of the ACC guys are probably just waiting for. <coughs> excuse me, just waiting for a mature game and, and this will be it I think um, and when the GT3s arrive um, yeah I wouldn't be surprised to see people doing their GT3 leagues in um, in LMU instead of ACC um, it'll be something different <clears throat> the driving is much better um, yeah I think I think that will happen long term and I think all of the non high racing leagues uh, will probably uh, come to come to LMU but yeah I, I couldn't reasonably do like um, an eye racing career in sports car and, and whatever else having um, having driven this like you I just can't do it like you know um, and eye racing is is good like it's you know they have a lot going for them, like with the competition system and all, uh, you know, 
uh, Studio 397 have got a rating system and a safety system with uh, LMU. Um, the player pool is a, a lot smaller at the moment, of course, but um, I will say that the player pool that is there um, is, you know, they're, they appear to take their sim racing very seriously. Like, And uh, they're everywhere from your uh, eSport level to your casual enthusiast um, all the way to people that just want to have a casual race with minimal sim racing experience. Um, me personally, like I'm probably the enthusiast, um, you know, more casual than I used to be. But like when I used to race in leagues, I've been, you know, grinding all week. But um, over the last while, I've just been a bit more, a bit more chilled out, and I, I like it that way. Um, but yeah, it's got something for everybody. It really does. Yeah, really impressed. The more I am. Um, the more I drive this in, the more impressed I am. Um, I get with it. Yeah. Superb. Anyway, guys, I'll leave this one here. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, LMU, give it a shot. Um, and if you're one of those that uh, probably like me, shelves it for a few months. Um, while it got its updates and upgrades um, and you're thinking about firing it up again it's worth a shot G give it a few days see what you think of it um, they've made a few other updates on this uh, last one or two patches like the, the force feedback feels a bit better um, it was already brilliant but it just feels a bit different now and a little bit better yeah for sure and uh, yeah just, just improvements across the board really but um, anyway guys leave it there thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you on track